Hey YouTube and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Kai Simone back with another video for you all. Today I'm going to be talking about the main choice four leaf clover line. Now that I have it I'm doing this video for you all so you can see how it worked on my hair. My hair is really kinky and coarse. I do identify with the type 4C, type 4Z, whatever because my hair is super 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 kinky. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy this video but before we start don't go anywhere just yet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It is there for you to hit. That's why it is a button. So you can subscribe and see more of me. I'm going to be having more videos coming soon and you don't want to miss that. So if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and watching this video. I hope you all enjoy. Thanks. So first I'm going to start by shampooing and conditioning my hair. I am using the Main Choice Hair Type 4 Leaf Clover Shampoo on its best friend, Mr. Conditioner. Boom, boom, see it? Okay, I'm going to start by first shampooing my hair. It is Manageability and Softening Remedy Shampoo, which helps to support natural growth and retention. Type 4 and Proud, Perfect Blend, Clove Oil, Flaxseed Oil, Aloe Vera, all that good stuff. And it smells really, really good. It kind of reminds me of like, like green apple. Like I'm getting that kind of smell mixed with something else. I'm not really sure, but it smells really good. Um, but so since my hair is already wet, I'm gonna put some in my hands. You can see that. And of course, it doesn't want to focus. Boom. And I'm going to put it on my scalp. I don't. Whenever I do shampoo, I don't. Um, put it to my ends because like when you rinse it out it's going to rinse out through your ends anyways and it's going to wash all that out the point of shampooing your hair is to get all of that dirt and build up off your scalp and then any extra stuff on there so I don't like to put it on my ends I don't want them to be over dry that can tend to happen with my hair if I over shampoo so I just put it on the scalp scratch it in do that rinse it out and yeah all right, so now that I have shampooed it, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all of that out, and then I will be back to do the conditioner. So I have rinsed all of the shampoo out, and now I'm going to be using the conditioner. Opposite to the shampoo, with the conditioner, I'm gonna apply it to my ends, and then work up towards the root. So with the shampoo, I work from root to ends, conditioner, ends to root. Why? Because the ends of your hair are the most damaged, the oldest, they need the most love, tender care, all that good stuff. So that's why I apply more and do more focus to the ends of my hair or give that area a little bit more attention. My hair is really just soaking up this conditioner. Like, I don't know if it's soaking it up or I'm not putting enough or what, but usually when I put conditioner in my hair, like I can see it. I don't have to put too much and I can still see it on my hair like this. I'm putting it on and it's soaking it up and all I see is black for the most part. I don't know if that's good or bad, that's just an uh, observation that I made. All right, now that I have the conditioner on it, I'm going to put on a shower cap and then let that sit for about 15, 20 minutes. You can put on a heat cap uh, or a hair dryer if you have one, let it sit and then come back and detangle my hair. All right, and I am back. I let the conditioner sit in my hair for about 20, 25 minutes or so. And then when I did that, I went ahead and detangled my hair in a few different sections. Um, I decided not to detangle it on camera just because my hair is so thick and it takes me a while to do it. So yeah, I went ahead and did that, detangled it. And then I tried something new after like I detangled it. I twisted it into the twist When I kept the conditioner in. I detangled it with the conditioner in and then I put it in a twist and I rinsed out the conditioner. Now this is something I saw someone do maybe like a month ago I saw it on Instagram and I was like oh that's new so let me try it. Um, so I tried that out. I'll let you know how it went for me, how I liked it as I do the video. I look like Lil Kodak's long lost sister Big Kai or something like. You only believe in Jesus. Why you got a Jesus beat? If you wanna leave, just leave. But she ain't got a lot of me. Even the blind can see. But she ain't gonna ride for me. So next I'm going to be taking the leave-in spray and that is to help detangle 
and it is daily leave-in spray detangles and minimizes frizz strengthens and nourishes yada 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 and right away what I can say is my hair feels really really soft so that's definitely a plus because I detangled it prior it's definitely not as tangly as before and I actually like the fact that I rinsed out the conditioner with the twist in my head because it didn't like retangle my hair up I'm not sure if I would say that this is helping with detangling um, since my hair isn't really knotted right now considering I already previously detangled it doesn't feel like it's really doing much but it might add to the moisturization of my hair so we're gonna go with it and see how it works and once that is all worked in I'm going to go in with the moisturizing styling cream just like I do with my conditioner, I apply ends and then work up to the roots. And I'm just following the same method all the way around. All right, so now I have all of the twists done in my hair, and I kind of have my hair laying in the way that I want it to be laid when I actually take my twist out. So you see I have like the part over here on the side, and then the rest of his hair going this way, rest of his hair going this way. And then lastly, before I put my bonnet on, I'm gonna go ahead and put my growth oil onto my hair. I have the main choice growth oil, but I ran out of all that. So what I'm using now is the Wild Growth Hair Oil. And that was $10 from my beauty supply. All right, so I'm going to let this dry overnight and then I will be back tomorrow to take this all down, show you how I take it down, and give you a review on how I actually like my hair, how it feels, how it smells, all that good stuff with the new products that I use. I will see you all in the morning. All right, I am back. I have had these twists in my head for about two days now if I did them on Saturday and it's now Monday two days yes so I've had these in my hair for two days now so they should be nice and defined nice and dry and ready to take out uh, one thing I did notice is one if you can see I hope so but they are still really shiny and I've been wearing a wig over it for the past couple of days um, just because you know I didn't want to go out the house with my twist sometimes I do but this time I didn't so I just threw a wig over my head uh, and they did not dry out with being underneath there they look really shiny still but to take them out I'm just going to be using a light oil the good old great value brand shout out to Wally World Walmart okay extra virgin olive oil put a little on my fingers uh, just to maintain the curl and not have be like really frizzy um, so I try to use oil whenever I'm taking out my twist to keep down the frizz some and that's really all I use when I'm taking them down
and just run through make sure you got all the twists out you know a lot of times I think I got them all out and I start fluffing my hair and then I realize oh then take that one out you missed one so just make sure you get all those out but y'all one look at how shiny this is two look at this definition like yeah I know I kept this in for two days but this is before you know the fluffing and everything so of course it's going to be a little more defined but like look at it look how shiny and healthy and defined everything looks but I'm really happy right now with how soft it's feeling with how defined it is with the look I'm getting right now you know so at the end hopefully this all turns out great because right now I'm so excited and I'm still using the oil while I do this Now it is time to fluff. I either use one of two things, a pick, or I use a wide tooth comb. Either one will work. Now I'm just going to do my edges. Overall, I am very happy with this collection. Uh, thank you, Main Choice, for this to be the first full collection that I've used from you all. I'm definitely happy with this. So thank you for having us 4C girls in mind, for putting this out for us, because we definitely needed something that really was catered to us, you know? I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you go ahead and like, and also subscribe and turn on your alerts so you can see more of my videos whenever I post them so you can stay up to date. Share this video with your friends. Let me know what you thought and I can't wait to see you all next time on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.